Thanks to the latest technologies and meticulous observation of space, astronomers can announce exciting discoveries every year. 2021 was full of surprising, fascinating, and unique news from our solar system and the whole cosmos. We now present 10 of the best discoveries in more detail. Want to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and activate the bell to never miss one of our posts in the future. By giving us a thumbs up, you'll motivate us and show that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Discovery of the Comet Bernardinelli-Bernstein At the very edge of our solar system is the Oort cloud. Researchers have always thought it was a hotbed of comets. So far, this assumption has been, however, purely hypothetical. In 2021, two researchers discovered the largest known comet of the whole solar system. PhD student Pedro Bernardinelli, together with experienced cosmologist Gary Bernstein, examined data from the Dark Energy Survey, a system constructed primarily to unravel the expansion of space and the mysteries of dark matter. Bernardinelli became aware of an object that had to be traveling astonishingly far from the Sun, but the object appeared unusually large for a comet. To be sure, he asked his colleague to take a look at the maps. Soon, the two were convinced they had indeed discovered a comet much larger than any previously known science. The celestial body is estimated to be 10 times wider and 1,000 times more massive than an average comet and takes around 3 million years to orbit the Sun. By comparison, the first near-humanoid beings began to walk the globe in Africa 3 million years ago. On June 23, 2021, the finding was presented, officially declared a comet, and named Bernardinelli-Bernstein Comet after its discoverers. By 2031, the comet should become visible enough for scientists to more accurately determine the size and composition of the Bernardinelli-Bernstein Comet. By then, the estimated 90-mile-wide chunk will be about 10 years behind Saturn's orbit. Amateur Astronomer Discovers a New Moon of Jupiter Jupiter, the fifth planet in the solar system, has had an incredible 79 moons. Since last year, it has one more, and presumably the gas giant is revealing even more previously unrecognized satellites. The youngest discovery involves an amateur astronomer in Hawaii. Kai Lee studied data sets, which were collected with the 12-foot Canada-France-Hawaii telescope on Mauna Kea. The new moon, designated EJC0061, belongs to a very special group of Jupiter's moons. Those that orbit Jupiter in the opposite direction to its rotation and have an extreme tilt relative to Jupiter's orbital plane. NASA will fly to Venus before the end of this decade. For a long time, our neighboring planet Venus was hardly of interest to space travel. Too hot, too toxic, and too uninteresting, or so they used to say. But then came the incredible news in 2020. Thanks to radio telescopy, some researchers succeeded in detecting biomass in Venus's atmosphere. Researchers discovered traces of the gas phosphine, which is produced almost exclusively by organic microorganisms. In 2021, the world's largest space agency announced that a mission to Venus will launch before the end of the decade. The plan is for a spacecraft to be named Da Vinci Plus, short for Deep Atmosphere Venus Investigation of Noble Gases, Chemistry, and Imaging Plus. The space capsule will enter the planet's atmosphere and collect measurement data on the spot. The mission will be brief because the deeper layers of Venus's atmosphere are considered so toxic that terrestrial technology is very unlikely to last long there. Nevertheless, the time should be sufficient to gain certainty about microorganisms in Venus's atmosphere. In fact, a second mission to our neighbor is scheduled to launch around 2030. The Veritas mission, short for Venus Emissivity, Radio Science, INSAR, Topography, and Spectroscopy, will orbit and map the planet at a safe distance. These would be the first missions to Venus since 1989. According to calculations, Venus was once a lovely water world with a pleasant atmosphere, but a greenhouse effect that began 700 million years ago destroyed that world. The data from Venus may be of greatest interest to our own globe. The Sun Awakens to New Life 
In recent years, solar activity has decreased in a strange way. Among researchers, this fact triggered reactions ranging from curiosity to horror. What would happen if the sun drastically reduced its activity? What impact would that have on life on Earth? But now everything seems back to normal. Since October 2021, violent eruptions have again been occurring on the surface of the sun. Trillions of charged particles have hurled towards Earth, triggering geomagnetic storms on our planet. These eruptions are known to experts as coronal mass ejections, CME, and are popularly called solar storms. When the solar particles hit Earth, they interact with our planet's magnetic field and cause among other things, the fascinating auroras. James Webb Space Telescope flies into space. The James Webb Space Telescope is expected to slowly replace the aging Hubble Telescope. On December 25, 2021, after several delays, the Ariane 5 rocket finally launched to take the new super telescope into space. Excitement at NASA and worldwide are great. It's still incredible what insights into space Hubble gave us. The technically advanced James Webb Space Telescope will give us more never-before-seen images and even deeper exploration of the cosmos. The international joint project, which cost around $10 billion, will be activated step-by-step -step in orbit and will send its first images when all the technical equipment has been adjusted. So we can look forward to exciting news. The Light Storm of a Black Hole Black holes have an interesting property. They're invisible. They become visible and measurable only by the enormous forces that emanate from them. In 2021, the Event Horizon Telescope succeeded in taking an unprecedented image. In the galaxy Centaurus A, a light storm was emitted by a black hole. The light nebula made the black giant more visible than ever before. The hole is so incredibly large that our sun would fit inside it 55 million times. The supermassive black hole also forms the center of the galaxy. Black Hole Near the Earth Black holes can swallow entire suns and planetary systems. For this reason, researchers are on the lookout for black holes in the vicinity of Earth. Last year, they found one just 1,500 light-years from Earth. The comparatively small black hole is located in the constellation Unicorn and is about twice the size of our sun. It's located very close to a red giant, which is expected to go supernova in the foreseeable future. But there is no danger for the Earth. The black hole is too far away and moves within the galaxy away from us rather than towards us. The second moon of our Earth. You will be surprised if we tell you now that our Earth has something like a second moon. However, our mini-moon is not a lump of rock or a sphere. Rather, the Earth is pursued by an object with the designation 2020 SO. This is nothing more than a leftover fragment of a rocket engine from the 1960s lunar missions. On February 2nd, 2021, the unusual companion reached the closest distance to Earth and was observable just 1,300,000 miles away. The Parker Solar Probe traverses the sun's atmosphere. The Parker Solar Probe has been zooming through the inner solar system for three years to approach the sun. One of the probe's goals is to study the solar wind. This sea of charged particles has major influences on our Earth's magnetic field and raises many questions. On its eighth flyby of the sun, the probe entered the sun's outer atmosphere, known as the corona. Never before had a probe come so close to the sun. The April 28th maneuver provided unprecedented data from a pseudo-streamer. This megastorm can even be seen from Earth when the moon blocks the light from the solar disk during a rare solar eclipse. In a statement about the discovery, NASA staff called the maneuver flying into the eye of the storm. Perseverance examines first rock on Mars. Was there life on Mars? Does Mars offer water and resources for human settlers? These questions are currently being investigated by around 10 international Mars probes and Mars rovers. Great hopes are associated with the super robot Perseverance. Like no rover before it, this high-tech NASA machine can drill into the depths of Mars or collect rocks from the surface. It is controlled from Earth. What makes it so special is that, via a sophisticated network of follow-up missions, the Perseverance Mars rover will send rocks from Mars to Earth for the very first time in the history of human spaceflight. Since February 18th, 2021, the rover has not only been collecting rock samples for this purpose, but also providing unique panoramic images of the surface of the red planet thanks to its powerful camera. One of the most attractive spots that Perseverance investigated last year 
is the Harbor Seal Rock. This oddly shaped rock appeared in images as far back as the 1970s and actually resembled a harbor seal. Perseverance is currently traveling the 45 kilometer wide Jezero Crater. A river delta and a deep lake are supposed to have been there billions of years ago. If these assumptions are confirmed, it would mean that organic life very likely once existed on Mars. It's incredible the progress we humans have made in exploring the space that we live in in 2021 alone. This year, the Mars rovers, the new James Webb Space Telescope, and thousands of astronomers around the world are sure to provide more exciting discoveries. We'll be sure to keep you posted. Finally, tell us which discovery of 2021 you liked best and what astronomical news you would like to see this year. We look forward to your comments.